So I just got my teeth done. I got a tooth extraction and bone graft. Um, so right now it's healing. I am still very numb. They did the shots on the inside and the shots on the roof of my mouth. So my nose is numb. My eye. It's hard to close, but it's numb too. So this whole side is swollen. I'm coming for my tongue. And smile. Um, they said I can't have that. They did a bone graft, so I had the bone graft, and now um, because they was gonna do an implant, so they did a bone graft instead. And so I had to wait for that to heal, like three to four months, and then they could do the implant. So uh, yeah, right now I'm taking amoxicillin, and because I am pregnant, I can't take any other pain medicine besides Tylenol. So I'm taking Tylenol and Amoxicillin. Um, I haven't taken any Tylenol yet. I took Tylenol before the procedure, and now I'm taking it. I'm gonna take it again later on. But it's hard to swallow right now because everything is so numb, like you can see, so saggy. But um, I just want to tell you guys the process that's going on. Uh, it's a four day. It's a three day weekend for me because tomorrow is a holiday. And it's so gross because now I'm just swallowing blood over and over again. <laughs> Nasty. So it's a three-day holiday, so I get to heal a little bit tomorrow. And then um, we'll go from there. So I'll update you guys about tomorrow. It is now, it's the same day, but it's now like an hour and a half later. It's 8.30. Um, like the numbing is starting to go away. So I am starting to feel some pain right in here. Um, it does feel, my lip still feels numb, nose, uh, my eye, I would have to force it to blink, otherwise it start to water. Um, the taste of the, swallowing the blood is making me very, very nauseous, so I have to keep spitting it out. Um, but I am going to take a Tylenol right now, just to counteract some of the, the pain that's going on, because I can feel where they gave me the shot, because I have to give you a shot at the, the roof of your mouth. And just, just doing that right now, opening my mouth a little bit, hurt my ear. Because they did the extraction on the 1415, which is the top um, back one right next to the wisdom teeth. So it's the, the ones right next to it in the back. So, um, so yeah, so that's starting to hurt. I don't know if I'm going to get too much swelling in here. Um, but I may tomorrow because this is still day one. Um, but I am going to take something for the pain that's slowly coming in. Um, and now that my tongue, I'm starting to feel it, I can taste the blood, and that's really gross. And so, I'm probably going to eat some Amelia's, uh, applesauce, too, and just maybe put some honey in it or something. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to feel the pain, so I'm going to take, the more I talk, I think the more it kind of, my tongue is rubbing against it, which is probably causing the pain. So, I'm probably going to just shut up right now, just a little update, and then I'm going to take the Tylenol right now. Um, that's what the... I know, it looks like, like a little tile. Um, I like this kind because it's smoother than the other kind. So I'm going to take that and I'll talk to you guys later. So Chris made me dinner. I have some mashed potatoes with some cheese. I have to make sure I eat something because I am pregnant. I got to feed the baby. Um, the Tylenol, I think it's kicking in. Um, I've been quiet pretty long, so but this is really good. It kind of like when I swallow, like I'm just eating. It's still hard to open my mouth because it's still numb. So when I swallow, in the roof of my mouth where they get a shot. So the roof of my mouth where I got the shot hurts and slightly swallowing hurts a little bit. Like on this side, like right in here. Um, but I'm gonna. It's not hot because I can't have hot or cold. So it's kind of like it's warm. So I'm just going to eat and enjoy this. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I do want to add a side note. That this eye. The eye with the the um, the, the uh, bone graft and the, the extraction is blurry. And I guess that's a, that's a side effect. Like you can't see my pupils. But it is like... I can see so clear out of this one, but when I this one is like blurry. And so, um, the numbing agent is still there. Like my eye is still 
numb and so I'm not sure if it's the fact that I can't like blink all the way like I can blink more because now I can close this side it's just this side now um that I feel it and so it's just before I go and forget the next day I just wanted to let you know that you know I guess that's a side effect of like the the numbing agent and I think it's Novocaine if I'm wrong I'll put it down below right here um what, what they used um but yeah right now it's just it's still numb right here um, this is getting the feeling back. My nose, I can feel my nose now. It's not sensitive, but my lip. Still, like the tingling's coming, like starting to come. And then, like, when it's wearing off, it kind of like sensitive to the touch. So it hurts to touch it. Um, especially my lip, but my cheek doesn't hurt to touch as much, but my lip, the lip does. So, I just want to let you guys know some of the side effects of the the numbing agent wearing off you may not get this feeling your eyes may not be blurry you may not get the tingling uh feeling when it's wearing off or anything like that but that's just what i'm experiencing so i just want to let you guys know that that could happen it may not but it could so let me finish my mashed potatoes and cheese and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow officially yeah hey guys so today is day two um Sleeping wise, it was really, it was okay. I took two ibuprofen and a Tylenol before bed. Um, so the only thing woke me up was my mouth was really, really dry. And I can taste the dry blood. <laughs> and that's really gross. And this morning, I didn't have any pain. It could be the ibuprofen was still kicked in. So when I woke up around 7-ish, 6.30, I took, an, I took a Tylenol just to get ahead of it. And I took another Tylenol, right, like 11 or so. And then uh, my moxicillin to keep, you know, the infection away. So far, so good. Um, no pain. It's just very uncomfortable. I don't know if there's any swelling, if you guys can see. Um, the only thing I feel like is a little discolored right here. But other than that, it's easy peasy so far. Um, I can't open my mouth all the way. Smelling. It still kind of hurts. So I just, uh, <laughs> Chris called it a two-faced smile. And so, um, we we're on our way. Oh, for, for, for breakfast, I had some oatmeal Chris made. Um, I had some oatmeal Chris made, something very soft, so it was easy to slightly chew and swallow. Um, we we're on our way to the movies because Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> so I have today off of work, so we're going to see Wakanda Forever. You know, I heard it's mixed reviews, so I got me some grapes and some uh, claw. Hey guys, so today is the next day. Sorry I didn't film after the movies. But I had developed a really bad headache. So when I got home, I took Tylenol. I had tuna um, with some crackers. I chewed on the other side for dinner. And um, sleeping through the night is pretty good. I found that I'm drooling a lot more. Probably because, you know. It's hard when I close my teeth, it kind of chatters a little bit. But I notice that when the pain medicine wears off, then my headache starts up. And I'm just assuming that's all the pain up here. Um, they did give a needle shot in with my mouth, and I feel that that's where it hurts. But let me see if I can show you where the incision is or the 
Uh -huh. They did stitches. Um, they did uh, they root canal, pulled two teeth, 14 and 15. And then they sealed it with some bone graft stuff. And uh, they covered, they did the membrane thing and then they sewed it. So that's what it is. Um, so then after, because my, um, I guess my, my bone was a little bit too thin for the implant. Because you sometimes they do the implant right away. Um, but they want to have a better secure base for it for um, the implant to sit so they have to do the bone graft for the implant to sit so that's what they did and so today I had some cream of wheat or some oatmeal so I had oatmeal for breakfast I took my moxicillin this morning I gotta take one in the afternoon around 4 and I took a Tylenol maybe just two today I didn't have to take any ibuprofen so the Tylenol seemed like it's doing the trick um, this is a little dry. So right now I'm just eating some Greek yogurt with some honey in it to uh, help me I need a snack. So it's smooth. So I'm going to go down. It's a whole bunch of your honey because the Greek yogurt is very sour. <laughs> so um, yeah, I went to bed kind of fast. Uh, I can't lay on this side, my left side of my mouth because of the pain but um, and the swelling. So if I put any pressure on it. It doesn't. It didn't swell up too too bad, but I can still feel it. So, this is day three update on the the bone graft. My little one is sick. She's coughing. Hi, everyone. She's underneath the blanket right there. You wanna say hi, baby? Hi, everyone. <laughs> She's supposed to be having quiet time and a nap, but she decided to sleep on the couch instead. So. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and I'll talk to you guys later. Today is day four of my um, graph. I have to say my talking is better. Um, the swelling is uh, gone. Well, I didn't have swelling, but the swelling on the inside is there. I did like have a little piece of the bone grab come out of my mouth they told me that that was gonna happen so it's just like a little bitty it's like a little bitty 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 pebble that came out and so i just took it out of my mouth it's kind of like when you chew a gristle in meat or something it's like that but it was tinier than that um it does have a taste now i am still taking my moxicillin so i'm not sure if it's just a healing taste or it's infected um or not but i may have to call them to you know, see if that if it tastes normal. But there's a taste after a while. Um, I'm slightly dehydrated, as you know, seeing my lips, but I'm trying to drink more water. Today I am eating some more mashed potatoes with cheese on it for dinner. I had tuna with eggs for lunch and a boiled egg with yogurt for for breakfast so it's just very soft food nothing too hard i can't have chips i can't have popcorn like you guys saw i went to see um black panther no yes um and i can't even have popcorn that was so sad because i love popcorn in the movie so i may have to go see it again once everything's i can have popcorn again i can just go see it again or just eat it up but yeah right now that's what's going on i'm about to eat Talking is better. I go to work tomorrow, so uh, hopefully everything works out and feels good. But with that, guys, it's day four. I'm doing up until uh, a week of healing. Sorry about my cat. She's hungry now, but she's gonna wait because if you if I feed her now at like seven o'clock, she'll be up all night and just meowing. So with that, guys, I'll see you guys on day six, right? Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day five, tomorrow, Monday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, today is November 12th, I believe. Uh, it's a Sunday. If I'm wrong, I'll put it down here. I'm mean, just watching Bluey. Why are you always doing that? So 
as you guys saw, Amelia was here. Um, because of my bone graft, I if you if you haven't seen, I'll leave a click down below. I don't know when this video is coming out, but I am 12 weeks now. Figgy, Amelia, get Figgy. She's trying to eat your pizza, honey. So I am uh, 12 weeks. Next th next Thursday, Friday, I'll be 13 weeks. So I'm almost out of my first trimester. My nausea is up the roof. Um, just eating some soft food because of my bone graft. So maybe that's why, because I can't eat much. And right now I'm craving chips and dip. But I can't have chips and dip because I can't have chips because of the bone graft. You can't have anything sharp. So I'm just winging it out. On um, this may be a compilation videos of all the days um, just because I haven't told my mom yet and she just every time I try and tell her uh, it's a weekend and then she's like reschedule or res reschedule so now she's coming on Thanksgiving weekend and I'll be about 14 weeks then definitely showing so um, I will include that clip of her and telling her as well um, but yeah so with that guys, I am 13, 12 weeks now on Friday and almost out of my first trimester. I will do a first trimester video um, just to wrap everything up. So with that guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.